So I have uh, Mr. Stephen Del Duca online with me right now, and uh, Mr. Duca has got a very big sport today. I would say great, great accomplishment, great achievement for him and his campaign team that the outgoing mayor of Vaughan has announced his endorsement, Mr. Del Duca. So he's online with me. Mr. Duca, welcome to Radio Pravasi. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have. Uh, great to be back on. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, actually, in <laughs> fact, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, outgoing mayor has already uh, announced that he is going to endorse you. He is going to vote for you. So, Mr. Maurizio Webuleka, if I am pronouncing his name right, uh, we wanted to talk to him. Also, we'll try later on, uh, maybe next in uh, coming days. So, he's outgoing mayor for last 12 years, and his endorsement. What does it mean for you and your campaign? I think this is a <clears throat> great news. I'm I'm so delighted, so honored, and and grateful to Maurizio Bevilacqua, who, as you pointed out, he's been our mayor for 12 years. He's done an exceptionally good job delivering incredible results for the people of Vaughan. He's built an incredible legacy here in this community, and so to receive his strong endorsement of my campaign, my candidacy, is something that I will always be grateful for. And I'm I'm hoping to get the chance to be able to build up upon Mayor Bevilacqua's legacy. Uh, you know, you think about the fact that when he became mayor, we didn't have a hospital, we didn't have a subway, we didn't have a highway extension or a residential hospice. Today, after 12 years, we have all of those things. I, you know, that's the kind of leadership that I'm hoping to continue here in Vaughan, should I win on October the 24th. And to get his endorsement and support just means the world to me. Okay, uh, we have seen... Uh, uh Hazel McKellian, one of the most successful mayor of our country, and uh, Miss Saga progressed or grew, uh, grew dur during her, you know, when she was mayor of Miss Saga uh, in every way. But when, uh, eight years back, I remember uh, uh, Bonnie Crombie was struggling in, in, the, in, in, the, in, in the contest. At that time, uh, I, I still remember when Hazel McKellian dosed her and overnight her, proper, her popularity uh, gone so high and, and since then, I mean, this time uh, she's, she's a front runner uh, with, with no question. So it, it, it looks that, I mean, you are also going to get that kind of support once uh, our outgoing mayor has uh, endorsed you. Absolutely. I mean, I, uh, that's one of the examples that I do remember, as you point out, that Hazel McCallion, when she was retiring, went on to endorse her successor, Bonnie Crombie. Uh, you know, everybody knows Hazel McCallion. She's uh, such an important political figure, not just in Mississauga, but right across the country. Yeah. Everybody knows Hazel McCallion. I think it's uh, very consistent what Mayor Bevilacqua has done here today with what Hazel McCallion did in Mississauga years ago. Uh, you know, he, he expressed earlier today in the announcement that he he knows that with my experience as a senior cabinet minister, someone who partnered with him to deliver all of those things, like our hospital and subway that I talked about a moment ago, that I am best positioned to be able to keep moving Vaughn forward and build on his legacy. And that's why, again, it's so encouraging for me to get this news today. Okay, sometimes we, you know, we are envy of Vaughn when we live in Brampton, that uh, the kind of uh, growth Vaughn has seen in, in many ways, and particularly in the, in the transit, in the health sector, it's outstanding. It's, it's really, really remarkable. And uh, we, are, we are quite confident this will continue in, under your leadership also. I think that, that's awesome. And again, just so grateful uh, to have his mentorship, his friendship, his support. Mayor Bevilac was a dear friend, and I'm, I'm hoping to get the chance to continue what he's already started here in Bonn. After October 24th, if I'm able to earn the trust of the people of this community. Okay, last question before you go. Uh, all these, you know, uh, fastly, rapidly growing cities have their own challenges. We have seen in Brampton, now we are seeing in Caledon and other 905 areas, all other cities. So anything which you are taking on priority in one? Yeah, look, we, we have had a lot of growth here in the city of Vaughan. That growth is going to continue because we know there are more people coming to the GTA every year. I think it's important for the next mayor and members of council to work really hard to make sure that as we grow, that we respect the existing neighborhoods, uh, that the, the growth is responsibly designed and built out. And most importantly, 
to make sure that we have the transportation network being built at the same time so people can get home to their loved ones instead of being stuck in traffic all day long. These are some of the things that I will be focusing on should I win this election campaign. Uh, there's a great need in Vaughn for that kind of leadership. And again, so grateful to Maurizio Bevilacqua for his endorsement today. Okay, Mr. Duca, uh, you were uh, Minister of Transportation uh, for our province. You were already MPP, then you were leader of uh, Liberal Party. So you have vast experience in your political life, and uh, we are sure, we are confident that uh, def that will definitely help you once you become the mayor of this great city of Vaughan. And uh, good you. luck to you and best wishes. Thank you very much, Mr. Sainz. You take care. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.